the Joe Rogan experience. How do you forgive Bill Cosby? Like to take that, the idea that you're supposed to forgive Louis, which I think. Yes. And then I don't see a path for Bill Cosby to be forgiven. I don't see that path. When you've ruined the lives of how many people? 50 plus. When something's that heinous, I just don't think, I think it's I mean, quite I mean, different. Have you ruined their life? You, you certainly, certainly fucked them up. Like, if you wake up and you're with Bill Cosby and you thought he was going to take care of you and your pants are down by your ankles and you realize he fucked you while you're unconscious and he drugged you, yeah, that is going to fuck your head up. It's going to change what you think about people, that right. someone could just drug you and treat you like meat. You're unconscious. They're doing things to you when you're out cold. So you're saying, what's our laws of forgiveness? Well, how do you forgive that? First of all, you mm. can't because he, never, he doesn't admit it. He never admits it. So no, he never even gets to the door right. of like of acceptance, of forgiveness, of, of, of doing his penance, or if there is a penance, if there's anything you can ever do ever, he doesn't even get to the if door. If he did so he admit it, it, then would there be room oh, for forgiveness? That's a good question. I think it would probably open up the door to more, more lawsuits. Sure. I think it would, they would come storming in like hail, you know? Right. I mean, yeah, but I, th I, I know what you're saying is very smart. It's saying like, we're saying we, we're supposed to give someone like, forgive right. someone like Louis. Well, what is the line of when you don't forgive? Right. What's the line? What is the How, line? What's the number? What's the line? What's the atrocity? Like, what is it that we go, you can't forgive this person anymore? Yeah, what's the, what's the line of compassion? Like, where do you, where do you take The line it? of compassion. That's yeah. a good word. That's what it is. What is that ultimate where you go, no, you can no longer from this moment forward forgive this human being? And the problem is, now here's where it gets slippery. If you decide you, you're going to be the guy mm. who says, I'm going to kill this guy. Someone that executes him? Yeah. Yeah. If you decide, if you live in a... I mean, look, that's what we're essentially doing. We're just doing it slow by putting him in a cage. Right. Right. But if you were going to really decide, hey, we're going we're gonna to remove this guy from the population, I can't trust him with my kids. We live in a primitive society, okay? Right. We live in some, some village type society thousands of years ago, right? That's what we all did. What would we do when someone was like that? Well, we'd probably try to figure out a way to get rid of him. Yeah, you'd kill him. You'd have to kill him. Yeah, you'd have to. But you would have to figure out... What are the laws that allow someone to kill somebody? Because you can't just let people kill people. Because you let people kill people, then you just come up with excuses to kill people. Right. And this is what people have done throughout history, whether it's the Mongols, or the Romans. Or the, I mean, just go throughout history. Vikings. People have People have fucking killed people because they could kill people. Right. So when do you what, – like, what is the moral distinction that you have to make where someone is – they have done irreparable harm. But that changes over time. Right. Right. That, and that continually changes. That's, that's yes. my point is like that will never stop changing from, from, from decade to decade, from era to era. Yes. What we find a, deplorable now will yes. not be deplorable later. Right. And that's we see it with so many aspects of our culture. Yes. Literature, movies. Yes. Yeah. The way we restrict. What, so, so what we're saying is, is there ever a line? Is there ever a line? Does yeah. it ever exist? Does that idea of like, this is the cutoff, does that really exist? Because it's constantly moving. It's constantly changing. Yeah. I, I've said it a million times. I've never said what Louis did was okay. I think he has his, his issues. I don't think anybody has. But I also think everybody needs to investigate what happened and find out. He's got to talk about what, it. What? Yes. And I'm sure. Let eventually. him talk about it. Find out what the social psychology of what he was going through. Yeah. but Disturbed. I, but what I think is happening, too, is that a lot of women feel like when these guys that are abusers got taken out, that it made it so that it was better for women and so that if they come back, things go back the way they were. This is a real, that's a real thought, you know? Yes, but we must have conversation. Yes. If we don't have conversation, then we're fucked. <laughs>